What's going on out there, YouTube family? This is Sammy Lega here representing Team JVS, and I'm here to give you guys a review that is a part of TIFF, Toronto Film Festival 2021. I am talking about the movie As in Heaven. Um, this film is based on a book that came out like a century ago um, by Ted uh, Lindenberg. And basically, it surrounds a young girl. Her name is Lisa. Lisa um, is a part of a well-established uh, farm. And, you know, she has aspirations of her own. She wants to go to school. She wants to get away from the farm. Um, she does have a love interest. Uh, but she also knows that she has, I don't know how many sisters and brothers. Um, and the thing is that her mom now seems like she's giving birth, but this seems like there might be some complications. And she's dealing with what that means. Should she, you know, focus in on her her her, her you know, like leaving or should she focus in on her family? Now, the thing about this film that I will say is that the imagery, the shots and the imagery feel like a horror film. Honestly, like it feels like a foreign horror film. Like the very opening shot is this beautiful moment where um, she's like got a whole bunch of dandelions in one, like one hand. She blows the dandelions and the dandelions go and poof towards the sky. And then the sky proceeds to literally um rain blood and you don't understand the scope of what that means based on that vision because this family is very religious the family uh perceives specifically the grandmother like and the mother that visions and dreams are interpreted for a specific set reason if you don't abide by them things and things could go astray very quickly but one thing that happens you know midway i think um she's having you know she's having to take care of the kids because you know, the mother's giving birth, the grandmother's helping, and the other siblings are trying to help. Um, and the dad's just absentee. He's not he's not really there. And he's not really keen on her leaving to go to school or anything. Matter of fact, he seems like he's got some other stuff going on. But Lisa has this conversation with her sisters um, about what, what might happen to her mom. And uh, they proceed to pray and whatnot. But then, you know, it goes to, you know, the Lord's Prayer. And, you know at a certain point they start to wonder specifically lisa if what if it is god's will that her mother doesn't make it and you know from that point it, it, it pivots the story pivots to say well but everything that's happened is because uh, possibly because of the, the the daughter or something that the mom did and the the movie tackles all those different intricate questions as well as the outside stuff that's going on if you don't really notice like Lisa goes and visits another farm and then the only person there is this young boy nobody's there and he's literally not eating or anything and you come to find out like you know his parents are just not there and so it's kind of like almost like man this could be easily her situation if something doesn't happen very soon and I think that that's where it's like to bleed into horror elements because certain things and interactions like every single moment you know, they go and leave the farm or go somewhere or she takes her brothers and sisters. In my head, I'm like, yo, you're being a kid. Like, why are you taking these kids out? Or why are you going doing this? Why are you leaving that? But then when she reaches the destination, she finds that the life in and of itself is not fair at all. And life, it really does. It, sometimes it can cause, you know, you so much emotional turmoil and stress and strain that you can't come back from it. And also like, again, part of it is like the reality of her situation, uh, being in like being the older sister and being in this situation. And then the other side of it is the interpretation of the people that perceive why this is actually happening. And I think that that's more the interesting, compelling part of it. The thing that I found that was really rough about this film, it felt really long. So the movie is only an hour and 26 minutes, but it felt like it was like three hours. Like a part of that is I was consistently feeling, you know, dread and, and anticipation for something going to happen. But then it kind of just goes like you're just waiting. You're waiting. You're waiting. It's building character development. I think the character, Lisa, um, the character development for that character is amazing. And the actress that plays the role of Lisa, she's amazing. Like she she's able to convey so many different ranges of emotions in just her eyes alone um that i think that is commendable on so many different levels because i, I if, if this girl is actually only like 15 years old or you know 16 years old i wouldn't believe it 
because she's got the acting prowess of somebody in their 20s or 30s. Um, so I, I, I'm more curious to go to IMDb after this because I really don't actually know because she literally does play the innocent role so well. But then there's times where, where the haunting side of the reality, whether it's like watching what childbirth looks like or watching you know, what it looks like to make the calculated real decision or watching what interpretation based on even their her faith, how it can go and lead people astray in the worst way or the best way. And just seeing how that lays a weight on her, like she literally from the beginning of the movie to the end of the movie, you see her growth and nothing technically actually happens to her. That's the thing. But you you feel the weight of everything that is happening to her because of the situation, because of the environment around it. And I think that that's the masterful part about this, because normally to evoke emotion like that or like an a, a acted um, perspective like that, most of the time you have to have the main protagonist actually physically go through certain things that merit it. But in this, it's only psychological. It's only like things that are happening to her emotionally that are pivoting her to this point. And it, it, it also grounds itself in reality. Like, it's not always going to be, well, this tragic thing happened or this thing's going to push her. Like, no, like sometimes like life in and of itself is, is a thing that puts you into that point. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. I would rate this at a nine out of, well, I'm between an eight and a nine. I would go 8.5. It, the movie is good. It's just, it feels too long. It drags. Um, the pacing is just... It's, I don't know. It feels really bleak. Even the way it's shot it feels really bleak. Um, even though there's some amazing shots. Like, there's some there's some CGI shots that are just, whoo. Um, but, yeah. I'll talk to you guys more later. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell button, and watch for more reviews and coverage from Toronto Film Festival from Team JBS. Peace, guys.